What's going on everybody? I'm Justin Voss. I make welding and fabrication videos here on YouTube. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing right here, and I am too. I have a very scientific setup here to try and show both you and I the difference of how AC balance affects the tungsten, the arc, just what it looks like under a camera. Every time I've welded aluminum, a lot of people have asked about my AC balance settings, my AC frequency settings. My current welder, the Lincoln Precision TIG 185, doesn't actually have an AC frequency dial, I don't think. No, it doesn't, but it does have an AC balance. Now these are two things that you kind of run in conjunction with each other if you have the ability on your welder, but since I don't, I'm gonna be going through the entire range on the balance. Now my welder doesn't have a readout, but it does max out all the way towards cleaning and towards penetration. And we're gonna take a look at how that affects the tungsten, the arc, the work material, all that coming up. For this test, we're gonna use 332nd tungsten. This is orange colored. And on the welder here, we're gonna have a, just an even 100 amps the entire time and the dial starting off all the way to penetration. You can see there's no indicators of what percentage we will be at exactly, but I will tell you how far to the right or to the left on the dial I am throughout the test. And you can see if we get all the way to the left here, there is actually an automatic feature on this welder, which we won't turn it that far. We'll stop right before we get there. A quick explanation of what's actually happening here. AC stands for alternating current, in case you didn't know that, which means it's switching back and forth constantly between positive and negative. So positive in this case actually means electrode positive. So on a portion of the cycle, the current actually flows from the workpiece to the electrode. This actually blasts off surface oxides off the part, and that's why they call it cleaning. And then on negative, the current flows from the electrode to the work, and that's the penetrating side. So wherever the current's ending up is gonna be hotter. The AC balance adjusts the percentage of time that is spent either on the positive or the negative side. Now we are starting all the way on penetration, as far as my welder will go to the penetration cycle. Right now we're starting off at all the way to penetration, which on this welder we're probably about 70% AC negative and 30% positive on the cycle. That's just an estimate, but it is as far as it can go on my machine. Inverters, I believe, you can take it really close to 100% in both directions. Turning it down, now we're close to 70% of all the way to the right, so maybe in the 60-40 range. Now we're straight up at 50% balance, 50% positive, 50% negative. Working towards cleaning, now we're probably more like 60% positive and 40% negative, leaning on the cleaning side. And now we're turning all the way to 100% on my dial to cleaning. So we're probably close to 70% AC positive, 30% AC negative. You can see the tungsten starting to ball up. Wow, you can see right there how much full cleaning screwed the tungsten up. If we would have been running higher amps, it probably would have completely balled the end of this 332nd. Okay, there I think was a good visual representation of what the AC balance knob does or adjustment. Could be a button on your welder. Uh, what it does to your weld, to your arc, when you're welding aluminum. I uh, typically lean more towards penetration because I feel like I have a lot more control of the arc towards penetration. I might, after running this test though, um, there is a window where I feel like I could get, depending on how thick the material is, what size tungsten I'm using, what amperages, like all that goes in, but I might mess with that knob a little bit more instead of just leaving it there and never touching it. The balance is different than the frequency. The frequency is literally how fast it's going back and forth between positive and negative, and that controls your actual cone width. So uh, if I ever get a welder that has that adjustment, maybe we'll run that test too. But until then, that's it for this video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.